So today we're going to be looking at a scenario, what if Russia falls into a civil war? So let's just say that Russia lost the war in Ukraine, Ukraine won the war, Ru Ukraine joined NATO, Russia, there and there was an uprising in Russia to, oh, to, to overthrow Putin, you know the Russian president. People in Russia are very upset about the, about the defeat. defeat, and then there was an uprising. All across, you know, Russia. So basically. Anyways, let's get into this. So over here in the European Russia, we see that there were his in the European Russia. You see there is a no. There we have the pro Westerners against the current Russian government. And then over here we got a communist government over in Sib over here in in eastern Siberia across against the current Russian government. So we got NATO funding the Russian fund wait never mind. So we got NATO funding the pro Westerners in European Russia and we and also they decided to to go to war with Russia go to war with the European with the pro Westerners. Anyways the civil war begins. So in European Russia Russians the Russians are Start eventually, Russians are kicked out of you know this area right here. We just Russia, and also in Georgia, decides to join this war on the side of the of the pro Westerners, and they decide to kick Russians out of out of you know this area. And Russians are doing whatever they can to make sure that the pro Westerners are not cannot reach to Moscow, which is like I think somewhere over here. Anyway, they couldn't stand a chance. Now they're being pushed back. Pushed back. Over here in Siberia, we got J both Japan. We got Japan funding the communist government, the communist government to hopefully to overthrow the Russian government. Over here. So, anyways, let's just get here the communist government the new communist government answering into Siberia and managed to capture some of these territories and Japan also decided to to go to war with the current Russian government to war, to hopefully help the communist government to overthrow the Russian government anyway they make and we both got both the United States and Canada joining on both of the both Russian parties, like the pro Westerners and the communists, communists, hopefully overthrow the Russian government. And we got Belarus joining on the back in Siberia. The Russian government are are pushed back, like fiercely, are pushed back. They tried to hold off against the communist government, the communist Russian government, but they failed to do so. And now they're getting closer to Siberia. Here with the help of Japan and the USA. Belarus is running on the side of Russia and, uh, and NATO decided to launch an invasion to Belarus and without the support of Russia, Belarus falls like, like in just two weeks. And then NATO, NATO begins their the advancement into, Ru into Russia. China decided to not get involved in this in the civil war, be, so or because they hope that if if NATO and the United States if they join this war, they would weaken it would weaken both NATO and the USA, and they will be and China will become the dominant power of the world world after this war ends, of course. We got a communist government making. Entering into Siberia, and then they, and then the Russian government pushes back the communist government into this area. This area. So it's not looking good for the Russian government. Looking good for the Russian government, the current Russian government over here. Now the pro Russians are now getting closer to Russia. Well, I mean closer to Moscow. And then the Battle of Moscow. Then the pro-Westerners are getting closer to Moscow, and then the battle for Moscow begins. 
then Moscow is taken. Again, then the Russian government are which are forced to retreat further into Siberia. Over here, we got Kazakhstan joining on the side of of the current Russian government, and then also we got the meetup between the meetup between both Russian Russian parties, the pro Russians and the communists, and they again to and to crush Russia from both sides. And we and the and Kazakhstan helped the current Russian government to push the pro Westerners out of out of this area. Then they begin the invasion of Kazakhstan, which is then down. Remember Kazakhstan here here. Then then they begin to crush Kazakhstan and the com. Then and, and oh, that's what we we'll call it. Then they begin to crush Russia from both sides, and and Russia decided that the only way to survive this war is nuclear war. So basically, they just want to run nuke here, there, 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 here. So they launch four nukes on both sides, and. Of sides causing tons and tons of deaths, but the United States, along with NATO, decided to drop a nuke on the current Russian government, which is right here, there. After dropping the nukes, the pro-Westerners made an advancement into here, to this area, which is right here, I guess. Here. Then Putin knows that there is no way that he could win the war. And Putin knows it. Knows that there is no way that he could win the war. That he could, you know, survive this war. So Putin and his government surrenders. And a peace treaty was signed. So let's look at this peace treaty. So looking at this peace treaty here, we see Belarus. We see the pro westerners gain some land, some land off of Belarus. And a pro western government is... Sets up in Belarus. Here we, here we got the pro Westerners and both the communist Russian governments taking some lands off of Kazakhstan. And, and, and then both and the both Russian governments gain new names now that the original Russian government is, has, you know, this has been, you know, disbanded. So this. So this part is called Siberia and this is called I think I'm just going to call it Russia. So yeah, both Russia and Siberia are now friends with NATO and NATO the United States and Japan along and other countries that are friends with the United States. So anyways, that was the So anyways, that was what if Russia falls into a civil war. I hope you guys I enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, I'm out.